Hey y'all, here we are. I think the last update you had from us, we were um, yeah, we were broken down on the side of the road, just north of Cardwell, a couple of minutes north of Cardwell. Yeah. Um, nice place, really nice place, Cardwell. So, a bit of an update from there. Um, we got towed back to the local RSCQ place. We had ultimate cover, which was good. Yeah. Um, and um, they had a look at the car. Um, told us we were up for about a three to four week stay and probably 12 grand to replace it. So what happened, it looks, sounds like it, an injector's put a hole in the cylinder, um, which is not a small thing, no. losing compression and all that. I was running on three cylinders. So um, that's in the mechanic shop at the moment. We've been here, there was that day, and we've had a day in between and now we've got today. Um, so the RSCQ thing also put us up in a caravan park. Um, so they sort of paid in advance for about, I think, I think three weeks, I think yeah, they've had yeah. for. Yeah, three weeks. They've been really great. Um, yeah, that's been pretty good. Pretty glad we did it. What did it cost us? 185 bucks. We got 185 <laughs> bucks, obviously. Yeah, if you're travelling, highly recommend RACQ yeah. Ultimate. They've been really great. Yeah. And did all the um, leg work for us as yeah, well. They actually, yeah, they actually rigged the park and everything yeah. and book us in and, uh, and arranged a rental car and did all that kind of stuff. So the deal was we kind of get. Um, I have a three weeks accommodation effectively at the caravan park um, and they split that and we get six days of a rental car as well. So yeah. um, we've since had a little bit of good news. Um, the Well, the price has gone up. It's, <laughs> it's not the that's good, not good news. news. It's 13 and a half grand, but they've managed to source an engine, which are apparently a bit hard to find at the moment, but mm. seven and a half grand or something like that from down Brisbane way that's getting shipped up here. Total job's going to cost us three, 13 and a half. But the good news... Wait, is we're down, it sounds like we might be down to a 10 day stay yeah. here, 10 or 15 days I maybe. I don't know if we said the guy actually towed our camper to the campground. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah the RSCQ guy towed us down, only a couple of k's, and, and put us into the caravan park. Um, a bit off level, but you know, we're getting used to it. The water drains out and all that, so that's a good thing. And we do have air con. And we've got air con, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, but the really big thing was because we were travelling um, north with a group, and um, I'd been to Paranormal Park before, I thought it was pretty cool, told Ali all about it, she loves it, let's go, she'd never seen it, so we wanted to see that. But because we were travelling with a group, we were going to pass by there and not get to see it. Mm. Um, however, now we're stuck in the area, and we're practically uh, Cardwell residents now. Mm. We we um, are going to do a day trip up with the rental car, so that's we're looking at doing that tomorrow, I think. We'll pick the car yeah, tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to that. I, I, I really wanted to see Paranella Park, so yeah. So that's really it's cool. It's exciting. And I think it's been a heads up for us. We've had a walk around Cardwell now, and seen the um, the post office. They call it the Bush Telegraph thing. It's pretty cool to walk into, like a little museum-y type thing. Uh, apparently world famous pies. Ellie's not allowed me to have one yet. If I do a whole lot of steps today. 20,000 steps today. I can have, have a, a pie. pie. <laughs> so she's a freaking hard taskmaster. Um, so here we are actually at the um, I'm, I'm, Coral Sea Memorial in the yeah, park. Walking I'm around. Doing it's our just, walk. This, that, so it's, this is really, uh, really, really worth seeing. It's a beautiful place. Cardwell, the thing that's opened our eyes, I think, is we've got stuck here. Mm. We were going to pass through this place and we wouldn't have seen much, but we've um, we realised we need to stop a hell yeah. of a lot more. and Slow spend, down. No, and people tell you this, but until you really do it and have a look around, um, mm. we're really impressed. It's a beautiful place here. It's and beautiful. There's quite a bit to do. Obviously, we're going to know it pretty well. The there's actually days. a lot of walks all around Cardwell, too. Uh, they've got these things called the spa. We yep. can go into the bush and they have these um, really cyan blue pools. Yeah. yeah, so we're looking forward to seeing that as well. Yep. And they're all close by. Uh, yeah, rental, then, rental car driveway, but yeah, yeah, close by. And we're thinking we might do um, the Tablelands later as well. Yeah, you know? so that's a bit of a day trip. We might be able yeah. to touch on the Ather Atherton Tablelands up there. Yeah. Um, and if we really like it up there, it might convince us to bypass when we get the car and caravan back and do a little trip up. I think we'll see. I think the learning thing as well from this is, well, apart from resilience <laughs> and mindfulness. <laughs> you don't know the backstory in our lives, by the There's way. Been a lot this of is crying. still nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, yeah. very devastated. But, you know, just trying to have that resilience so we can get back on track. Uh, yeah. And also from that is maybe stop in at the information centres and the places that you go through. Um, there may be things that you want to see that you don't know about. Um, yeah. It only takes Some... a second to stop in. Have well, a yeah, a second to stop in, but the old people in there will trap you there. They're like <laughs> spiders. Oh, my God. <laughs> These people like never get to see people or something. I don't know what it is. You know, we they're... are old too. Yeah, they're, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah I'm young, but um, <laughs> they're very hard to get away from, and you've got to be really nice. It's hard, but they're so freaking helpful. And I, don't gave us... <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. I enjoy it. 
they gave us tons of stuff to have a look at yeah. and it was really good we actually learned a hell of a lot that we wouldn't have learned if we hadn't gone in there yeah we walked fair. along the beach to the information center yep don't take Go a dog for walking on the beach don't take the dog a lot apparently <laughs> the crocs, crocs here the, the dogs go in all the time here it's yeah. like the thing that happens in in cardwell yeah mm. yeah you don't see locals walking with dogs no. no or maybe they walk down the beach with the dog but they certainly walk home without it <laughs> You know, so that's happening. Yeah. So we um, we actually we're in, yeah we're in this um, um, Coral Sea Memorial at the moment, which is sort of a bit of a memorial to all the servicemen yeah. that fought in Coral Sea. So it's a pretty beautiful spot, really it nice. Is. Not 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 what you call your big flash memorial, but just an amazing setting. Yeah. You know, you got the ocean here and Hinchbrook Island. Is it Hinchinbrook? Hinchinbrook, Hinchinbrook, yeah. Hinchinbrook Island. Hinch something Island. Yeah. Um, that's really cool. And we're going to walk on. Yeah, we're going to walk on down a little bit further to, um, we think it's a bit of a, um, a walk through, like a wetlands. Yeah. Might put the drone up and have a look around and um, see if there's a croc there, like holding a whole lot of dogs in a pen or something like that. <laughs> um, that's what they do. If, I don't, need a lot back, once, if they? I don't come back, remember this video. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> don't make it back. <laughs> Call yeah. the police. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I already the crocs are full of dogs anyway. They're not going to eat anyone. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of a bit of an update. We had a nice lazy day yesterday, other than 18,000 steps. I nearly got to my 20 grand for the pie, but I didn't make it. No. Um, so I really, don't have to do 2,000 today then, don't I? And then I've done 20,000, really. No. Uh, yeah, okay. Shit head. So I go to 20,000 steps. steps today, so I'm going to probably, I get a dozen pies for that, don't I? No. No. I want um, to try the crab, the crab sandwich. Yeah, somebody told us they do a crab meat sandwich. Crab that meat sounds sandwich. pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll be up to that. that. I was a crab meat virgin until a couple of days ago. We went crabbing down, um, down at uh, we was at Was Landing. What a cool thing! Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you, Dougie, for taking me crabbing and breaking. And missed for my, the pad thai, mug crab and, pad thai. Oh time. my god, that was a killer! Yeah. But yeah, no, Dougie broke my virginity, you could say. <laughs> Um, so I've had crab meat now, that was pretty good. That was good. Um, I actually don't normally like crab meat, but I love mud crab. I don't know what it is. I think it's not as sweet. I'm not into the sweet meat. So, um, yeah. yeah, I really loved it. We missed out the next night. I was going to do a, um, uh, what was I going to do? A paella with the mud crab. But yeah, we but we got stuck down, on the so. side of the road and the rest of them decided to go and have a holiday and leave us on the side of the road stranded. So, so Dougie and Ness, we owe you a dinner. <laughs> we do. We do. Yeah, good to see you guys. Are we all having a great holiday? I'm sure. Yeah. Seeing lots of scenery and stopping everywhere. We're going to be up there soon. We reckon we're here yeah. for ten days. We'll get our truck back. I think we're going to run the engine in the new engine. Oh, new engine, recon engine, whatever it is. Yeah. We're going to run that in for about a thousand k. So we'll be driving around the area yeah. in the truck for a while before we hook the van up and put a load on it. Yeah. Going to stop into Toyota and Tully and just have a little chat to them. It just doesn't seem right to us. No. Under two hundred thousand k's, under ten years old, only about eight years old. The truck. Regularly we, serviced. We, regularly serviced. We did two um, fuel injector checks before we left. Um, they did a pilot learning thing and stuff on it, but shouldn't have to spend 13 grand. You know, it just doesn't seem mm. right. So Really disappointed, mm, really. So mm. we're hoping that they'll... Hoping to out or do the right thing. Yeah. Um, we understand things happen, so let's give them a chance. Different you know. if we hadn't had it regularly serviced and, yeah. you know, this we're is our like workforce, so we yeah. really look after it. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, and we spent well, we spent five grand on it, I think, before yeah, we came. Just sure. fluids and making sure everything was good. But hey, you know, this is like a draw. This happens to people all the time. We're not the only ones yeah. this has happened to. Um, met some lovely people in the campground. Yeah, that's been really nice. Some of the people the are really nice. Really helpful. Yeah. Really lovely. Yeah, yeah, really cool people. Yeah. Um, that's probably our update for this morning. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll we'll put some pictures and stuff up on our blog and what have you. But. Uh, Hey, and thank you everybody that sent their well wishes and thoughts. Yeah. The, Had some know, lovely calls from some friends who have sort of said... And family. Yeah, yeah. just that, yeah, just that, you know, hey, no, no, it's devastating. Um, and you're stranded, if there's anything we can do, knowing full well they can't, but hey, do you know what? The phone call meant everything. Everything. To us. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it yeah, it, it sort of showed, yeah, it was, it meant everything to yeah. us, so it was... <laughs> Like a little bit we emotional. Had a lot, yeah, we've it's had a lot a very, of crying. And yeah, we at one hard. stage wanted to give up. Um, but, you know. Hey, yeah. you know, and there's way worse we things that have happened to us. Um, but Hot this one prior. just got us, yeah. you know, with so much yeah. planning. And, yeah. Uh, so, I, yeah, we're going to. I think we've been so resilient and so tough through a big thing that I think we should just have a pie without doing the walking. <laughs> no, we do have a we're pie. We're doing the walking. <laughs> okay, well, I'm off to do some walking. 
Okay. <laughs> See, See you later, guys. guys. Bye. Bye. All right. <clears throat> so we've walked all the way from the, well, we thought it was a boat ramp, way down the uh, north end of um, uh, Cardwell. And we're now at the, um, what's it called? Rainforest Walk? Bush, uh, Wetlands, Wetlands Walk. Walk. And along the way, I got my pie. And and I hadn't done all my steps yet, but I've got to, I would have hit the number by the time we get back. Maybe. Well, if, if we finish off the rest of the Wetland Walk, which is another two kilometres. Yeah. Uh, and then walk and home, I reckon. To be honest, I'm going to go back to the health food. The pies were shit. Um, Ali bought a pie from the bakery and actually, I think you took one bite and threw it out. Threw the pie out, which broke my heart. Um, <laughs> he said, no I, waste it, no waste it. I said, no, oh, it's calories. Oh my God. He threw a pie out. Even if it's a bad pie, you still eat a pie. <laughs> anyway, I got a pepper steak one and mine was, I'd say, average of a rate of 10. I'd say it's about a four, which is edible. Um, not great. Um, so we walked all the way down to the bush and so hope to find um, Jesse's pies, which is supposed to be a really good place. And um, hello, he sold out of pies an hour ago so and he's gone like, home. Sounds like he's the man, just his pies. Yeah, um, yeah, if he's sold out. If you're driving to Cordwell, or, uh, Cardwell, where we are. Yeah, um, just as you come in on the just right. Just as you come in, turn right and it's into the car park area. There's actually a yeah. lot of caravans here, a really nice area to have a rest break. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's good, it's gorgeous. So he's, he's sold out of pies, which either means he's really got good pies or he only makes three and they're shit and they just went, we don't really know. but. I'll Apparently they've got a pretty good rate. I'll tell you tomorrow when I get a pie and you get a bite of it. Yeah, and this is done. She's a shearer. Right? Twenty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm actually think the health food thing is a good thing anyway. Actually, believe it or not. But anyway, salad so, tonight. So we're sitting in this park and um, we've got this view. I'll spin around actually, and we'll show you the island and all. It's pretty beautiful here. Hinch and Broke Island is just out off the water. It's low tide, so it does look a bit muddy. But here we go. Try and do this with the old selfie stick. So. There's your brook island there, you got like, we got palm, palm trees and all the way down the beach. So, um, it's pretty cool. Um, we shake through the selfie stuff, can't we? You know you can just press that button and it turns it around. <laughs> it's the IT man. Yeah, I know, yeah. I'm not a selfie stick man though. <laughs> um, and yeah, so, now things are good, we're having a good time actually. We're actually filling our time up here in Cardwell, nicely. Yep. Got the riddle, as we said earlier, I've got the riddle car tomorrow. So we'll Tried the do famous crab sandwich too. Oh my god, actually quite nice. Um, but it really is a bit of bread, two bits of bread with a whole lot of crab. And it was a lot of crab to be fair, mm. but 24 bucks for a sandwich. Mm. 150 grams of crab. Oh, is that what it was? 150, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was no crab. Don't know. I, I thought it was okay. It was a bit watery and thawed out. Yeah, but it did it have a crab to taste to it yeah. and it was real meat. It wasn't shit that was in there. Um, you weren't that keen on it, but you're not big on crab anyway, really. No, so. but I, I like mud crab fresh. Maybe I've been um, spoiled now. It's a bit like um, having yeah. oysters and once you have a bluff oyster, that's a, yeah. nothing compares. Yeah, Dougie, so. your mud crabs, mate, still winning. Nothing compares, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're having a blast. We've done a lot of, we've done too much, too much walking. There's no such thing. But um, no, we're having a blast actually in Caldwell, and and the car issue is kind of just fading into the background a little yep. bit, isn't it? I think. Yeah. So we're making, really making the best of it. Looking forward to getting up and uh, I think we're going to be doing Paranella Park and stuff for us uh, next. So, I'm looking um, forward to that. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you'll love it. It's fucking awesome. Even if it's raining in Paranella Park, it's quite beautiful. So it's going to be really good. We're going to have a real blast here, aren't we? Yep. So, yep, that's us. So we'll more updates later. Keep an eye out behind us for crops. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon. As long as I can run faster than you, I'm safe. See you guys. See you. Bye. <laughs> We've done the uh, Wetlands Walk and there's a little map at the end of it. And we've walked from the Coral Sea um, Memorial there. We've walked all the way down the beach, all the way down there to the bottom. And we walked to the very end of the um, walk. How many k's do you reckon four that is? Four kilometers, you got it on there. Oh, four k's. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's good. What do you reckon? <laughs> Look at yeah. I had to get that on recording. That was awesome. That was terrible. That was pretty cool. Oh, well, Ellie's just headed across the road. She's seen a hair salon, so she's got to get some magic hair stuff. Um, I thought I'd sit down by the water. I think she's going to grab a bit of fish as well or something. We're sitting down by the water. The tide's out at the moment. It looks pretty mucky here, but it's still, it's a nice day here in Cold Caldwell. There's the jetty. Um, 
So it's it's looking really nice. We're having a, having a great time. I think we would have walked about, oh no, I think 12 k's we would have walked today along the foreshore um, by the time we get back to the van. So um, yeah, I'll be having a cold beer, it's pretty likely. Um, so yeah, no, it's beautiful here, really nice little place. We, I know we keep saying that. I don't know how many times we stopped along this walk when we sort of thought, well, hey, hey, look, look, there's a crocodile. You know, we think that, and we look at it, and it's like a tree stump. I don't think there's any crocs up here at all. Actually, I think it's a whole whole thing's a it's a croc, really. Um, but um, no, it's good. It's good having a look anyway. It's a bit exciting. I tried to scare Ellie in the bush, <laughs> but that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's about it. But we'll um, we'll keep moseying on down soon when she gets back.